गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू अगेन डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड अवर न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज केमिकल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट नाउ इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू आर लेसन नाउ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड इलेक्ट्रोलाइस सो इलेक्ट्रोलाइस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्रेकिंग अप ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रोलाइट सोल्यूशन chemically on passing an electric current through it and a substance which conducts electricity in liquid state uh, or when dissolved in water breaks chemically during the this process and that is known as an electrolyte and whenever electric uh, electrolyte is dissolved in water it breaks up into positive and negative cha uh, charged particles which are known as ions and the process of electrolysis it is carried out in an electrolytic cell this is an electrolytic cell okay so today we will study about the uses or applications of electrolysis now there are some applications of electrolysis first is electrolysis it is used in industries to produce lot of useful materials from naturally available substances like sodium metal is manufactured by electrolysis of molten sodium chloride electrolysis is also used uh, in the process of electro plating that is coating of a layer of a thin metal on another metal electrolysis is also used for the purification of metal that process is known as electro refining so electro uh, we'll start with electro plating during the process of electroplating a thin layer of metal is coated on another metal or material using electrolysis means there is a coating of a thin layer of metal over another metal okay coat coat hota hai ek metal ka thin layer over another metal with the help of electrolysis and it is done either to protect the metal or it uh, or uh, make it look attractive okay tin plated cans uh, chromium plated taps gold plated jewelry are all example of some electro plated items now we will study this process in detail now you have uh, seen uh, the iron objects are often coated with zinc to prevent it from rusting that process is known as galvanization and the process of coating gold on other metals is also known as gold plating silver coated on other materials that process is known as silver plating so actually the materials that is to be coated is taken as a cathode and the metal to be coated on it is taken as anode and a solution of salt of metal taken as anode is used as electrolyte okay mm, copper can be easily electroplated on a metal in a laboratory so uh, here is a setup for electroplating for electroplating of copper on an object the object is dipped in the copper sulfate solution and connected to negative terminal of a battery and copper ki strip it is dipped in solution and connected to positive terminal of the battery when electric current is passed through the solution copper from the copper strip is deposited on the object so this is electroplating now this is a setup for electroplating okay we have connected battery and uh, on anode we have taken metal to be uh, which is used to be coated and on negative uh, that is cathode object uh, to be electroplated is used and electrolyte a solution of a soluble salt of the metal which is to be deposited is taken so this is a setup for electroplating next is uses of electroplating electroplating is used in industries for coating metals on object with a thin layer of desired metal to prevent it from rusting or damage uh, chromium it has a shiny appearance and it does not corrode chromium plating is done on the objects like bicycle parts car and gold and silver are coated on cheaper metals to make gold plated or silver plated tin is used to coat food cans made up of iron this protects food items from getting 